Hey what's up guys this is Jolin here and I have the Amazfit GTS 2e smartwatch with me today. So Amazfit as we know uh, got some really good smartwatches in different categories and the GTS 2e being its latest offering. Let's do its unboxing and I will give you my thoughts on the same so it helps you make a purchase decision. So let's get going. As for the unboxing in the box we get the, the user manual a magnetic charging cable and the watch itself so you can purchase this at the price of around 9999 indian rupees from amazon india and i will leave the best buy links in the description below if you guys are interested now as for the physical overview on the front we get a 1.65 inch full touch 2.5d colored curved amoled display whereas on the back we find a bunch of sensors and the magnetic charging contacts then we have the silicon strap which holds the watch in place which are easily removable and on the side we have a multifunctional button. Now coming to the comfort, the Amazfit GTS 2e was very comfortable around my wrist. I didn't face any itchiness or discomfort even after I wore the watch continuously for a day. The watch also being very lightweight set quite comfortably on my wrist and the silicon strap is comfortable enough for getting ready and working out. So when it comes to the comfort, I was very satisfied. Now as for the display, this 1.65 inch squarish AMOLED display on the GTS 2e is good in my opinion. The screen feels very good to look at and the colors look very vibrant and the text looks sharp. The touch sensitivity is good and smooth as well. The outdoor visibility was decent and I didn't face much of a problem using the watch outdoors. So you can also have the display in always on mode though at the detriment of battery life. So the display is very nice and I have no complaints regarding the same. Now to give you an idea of the, the user interface, the Amazfit GTS 2e comes with a rather simple user interface. Long pressing on the home screen and you can change the watch faces. Whereas swiping down from the home screen will give you access to torch, do not disturb, then alarm, the, the brightness and settings from where you can change the watch face as well set screen locks then auto screen off etc swiping from the bottom you can see if you have any notifications swiping from the right you can find the, the logs to activity goals then heart rate music control header pi then alexa then we have spo2 etc single pressing the physical button you can access the same things like goals the heart rate then we have pi sleep a workout then alarm the stress then spo2 etc clicking more you can find other features like the countdown stopwatch um, music world clock compass camera remote etc long pressing on the button will activate the alexa and you can use it for different purposes. So I did some running and walking as well and I feel the GTS 2e did a very good job the tracking my activity data. So this is basically how the, the user interface looks on the Amazfit GTS 2e. So if you want a detailed information of your activities and you want to use much more functions of the watch, you'll have to download the SEP app from the Play Store and sync your watch with it. On the home page, you can see all your activities or basic activities that are being synced from your watch out here. Like for example, there's sleep, there's heart rate, uh, stress, weight, and all the workout history. On the second tab, that is the health tab, you can see again your details, your activities here. Like I've done running, so there'll be running here. If you have done cycling, there'll be cycling details. And there is all target settings. Thirdly, if you go to the profile section, here you will find your watch which is listed out here and even you can add much more devices if you press the plus button. If I go here to my watch, I can, you can see that uh, the, it shows the battery percentage. Besides this, you can see there, is, there are different sections here like the store. For example, if I open the store section, you can see you can get all the watch faces which can be directly synced onto your watch. Then we have the notification and reminders where you can set a, a notification to incoming calls and uh, you know incoming SMSs etc. Then we have a vibration, health, monitoring. Then we have the watch setting here where 
For example, there is display and brightness, auto, auto brightness, screen on duration, and then we have the always on display. If you want to turn off, you can turn it off or keep it scheduled or if you want to turn it on, you can turn it on. The so lift risk to, to check the info that's also there. You can also set it as per your preference. Then we have the vibration here, uh, the wearing manner, offline, uh, the audio mode and etc. If I go back again, here we have the app list management where these are all the apps that are actually present on your watch. If you want to hide any items, you can do that as well. We have the app settings. Then down here we have the find, find watch, discoverable mode, activity, heart, heart rate sharing, the real time data, binding limits, run in the background, etc. Then we have the system update. From here you can up upgrade your system, uh, you can update your firmware to the, the latest one. I am on the, the latest firmware at the moment, so I don't have any updates. And besides this you have about the device, product user guys, etc. And you can even unpair your watch out here. If I click on these four dots, here you can see all your data again, your exercise data like for example your steps. Then here we have different pie, exercise records, sleep. Then we have heart rate monitoring, this is the sleep details. Then we have heart rate monitoring, stress, weight, body score, cycles and all that. So this is pretty much it for the Zap app and uh, it is a very simple app or like it is very easy to use and I didn't face any problems whatsoever. So now let's check how fast is the race to wake up function on the GTS 2e. So, so as you can see the race to wake up function works really well on this watch. It takes approximately half a second for the screen to light up when you tend to raise your wrist which I feel is fast enough. So now as for the heart rate test, the Amazfit GTS 2e is good at taking annual heart rate readings. I found almost all its heart rate measurements similar with those from my Honor Band 5. However, the smartwatch failed to register accurate readings during workout. But I hope they will fix this with a future update. Now coming to the blood oxygen or the SpO2. The SpO2 sensor on board works fine. but it a little time consuming and happily you can take spot readings and get continuous feedbacks as well. Now as for the stress test, the Amazfit GTS 2e also retains a stress monitoring and this can be done continuously if you are willing to give up on much more battery life. I don't know if it's accurate enough but yeah, good to have it. As for the sleep tracking, sleep tracking is incredibly detailed and on paper the write up with the other competitors in terms of data and analysis. There's a sleep stage information in depth and it will tap into your the nighttime oxygen levels if you turn that feature on. However, it always over reported the sleep duration. It's also worth noting that the GTS 2e has a 5 ATM water resistance making it safe to take for the swim and into the shower. It also has a built in GPS which works fine so you won't have to carry your phone around on the run. So the Alexa feature in the GTS 2e works fine where it will let you use your voice interaction, play music, set alarm, provide weather forecast and then other real time information. As for the battery life, the Amazfit GTS 2e is equipped with a 246mAh battery. The company claims to have a 14 days battery under typical the user scenarios but I got a slightly over 10 days of battery life with heart rate monitoring, a sleep monitoring, uh, the 100 to 150 the days to wake ups, 2 or 3 SPO2 readings, 30 minutes to work out every day and an always on display turned on. If the battery drains out completely then you can charge the GTS 2e 0-100% in approximately 2 hours. Now for the verdict, so overall for the price of Rs 9999 for the Amazfit GTS 2e, I feel we are almost getting all the features one would use in a smartwatch. With a bright OLED display, good battery life and a raft of impressive workout tracking tools. It's e easily one of the best fitness trackers in this price bracket which can easily be recommended. So guys that's it for the video and I really hope you liked it. If you did, then kindly hit the thumbs up button or else you can vote it down. Do subscribe to me if you haven't and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video goes live. So until next time, you guys take care.
Ciao.